We do have some needed rainfall, potentially some thunderstorms on the way Tuesday night after 10 p.m. And yes, it will be getting windy and definitely cooler on Wednesday. Lows this morning were on the chilly side. We started off in the 30s. That Perry number is not right. I need to fix that. Here's a look at the current temperatures, and you can see close to 70 degrees around Ames and 73 along the southern border of the state. This afternoon, highs will climb into the mid to upper 70s, and that will happen right around 4 p.m. Overnight tonight will be closer to the 50 degree mark. Once again, similar to what happened this morning, just a little bit warmer. And then tomorrow afternoon looks even a little bit warmer with highs close to 80 degrees. Now the winds will be a factor starting tomorrow afternoon, and as they start to shift and become more northerly because of a cold front, they will be increasing. So these are the winds as of Wednesday or Tuesday night and then Wednesday I'm seeing even some stronger wind gusts of 40 to even 50 miles per hour with the winds continuing to remain strong and noticeable right through Thursday. We have nothing on the radar picture to show you it is dry all across the state and again I really think it will stay that way. Now we do have a wind advisory that does go into effect for parts of Nebraska and I point that out only because we like to look to what's happening to the west and we do have the potential and all ingredients here for some strong to severe thunderstorms late Tuesday night and early Wednesday morning, but the rest of today looks dry. Even most of tomorrow will be dry. It's closer to 10 p.m. that these showers and thunderstorms start to fire up along the northern border of the state with a few more moving through early on Wednesday. I'm not seeing a lot of rainfall with this, maybe a tenth to a quarter of an inch. There may be some isolated half inch amounts, but definitely nothing like many of you probably want. Wednesday, there is still a chance, especially in the northern corner of the state. And I had to show you the wider view here just to remind you, you can see Canada there kind of behind the title. That is snow over Canada already. We don't have any of that on the way in central Iowa. It just looks like it will be getting cooler by the end of the week. Right now, temperatures are right around 69 beautiful degrees. Even the bees and the wasps there are dancing. They're so excited. 79 this afternoon, lots of sunshine tonight. Temperatures will get down to around 59 with a mostly clear sky. And then tomorrow, some of you may want to put the air conditioner on before this cold front comes through because that is not happening until many of you go to bed around 10, 11 o'clock. And that brings us a change early Wednesday. I think that rains temporary, temporary, Ooh, wow, that's not good. Uh, Wednesday afternoon, windy and cooler on Thursday, sunny 57 on Friday, 61 and throughout the weekend. It looks dry and cool 60s on Saturday, but look at Sunday mm. 50 degrees. So my main point here is there's not a lot of rain on the way, but there is a warm up and a little bit of a cool I down. Need just a little. OK, I need to wet down the grass seed and fertilizer that I put on my lawn. OK, well, over the weekend, I worked really hard. I, I believe you probably did. I worked really hard on this too. The weather rating today took me a whole hot second. Yeah, right. It ten. Was a ten. Yes. Where is it? There it is. We're not going to share it with you. You're just going to have to trust us. <laughs> That's twenty. <laughs>